Okay, so welcome to a day in the life. Um, this is a sort of different kind of video. If you enjoyed this kind of video, let me know in the comments below. But it is now 10 a.m. in the morning. I've just dropped off the wife and kids to the parents-in-law because I've actually got a lot to get through today, which is unboxings, reviews, and loads of editing, which I'm really delayed on. But you know, I thought I'd start another video and probably you know delay myself on uploading this. I'm using the Joby mic, so let me know what the sound quality is like because I don't actually know. Till I hear it back. So yeah, it's a busy day. Busy, busy day of a full-time content creator. This is the office in the living room, as you can see. All set up, so we're gonna turn it all on, get ready to get some recordings done. So this is some of the stuff I've got to get done, like the majority of audio speakers. We've got another keyboard. Um, another keyboard over here. Some little bits down there that we've got to get through. So yeah, it's gonna be busy. Busy. I just saw this morning, I just sort of tidied up a little bit on the desk, got that bit cleaner so I can focus a bit more. And now, yeah, it's just about getting on with some edits. And then uh, and then tonight, we are gaming on the new Marvel Rivals because I've been added into the playtest. Me and my brother, we're gonna be jumping on, playing some of that, so that's gonna be cool. Um, but yeah, let's get on with some editing. But first off, I need a beverage. And I know it's 10 in the morning, but I've got a crack one. I know it's sugar free, it's not the best flavour, but we're gonna go with it. One handed crack, okay? So you get your grip. Okay, that's a lot harder than that. <laughs> look. Right, ready? No, I can't, I can't do it. Oh, now I've made a crater. Look at the size of them babies. Didn't even do it. Didn't even do it the whole way. Oh well, there we go. Okay, so it's currently 20 past 10. I'm gonna get a load of stuff done. I have to leave here at one to go pick up the kids. So, I'm gonna end this until we come back uh, because I just wanna get things done instead of having to keep recording and moving camera. You know, you know the gist. This is the whole thing of being a content creator as well. I need to use the camera. I do also have the ZV-E10, but for me, I find the color grading is a lot better on the A7C2, you know, 422 bit and all that jazz, where this doesn't, where apparently the new ZV-E10 Mark II does have uh, 4, is it 442 or 2, 422? I don't know, but yeah, has, you know, s log and all that jazz. Uh, I was tempted to upgrade, but you know, this does great still on content creation. There's not many things that I need to upgrade for this camera. It does vertical, it does sideways. This camera is my main camera. But anyway, enough jibber jabber. I've got work to do and I'll see you all in a bit. Right, it's currently 11.20. I've spent the last hour and a bit messing around with Premiere Pro because basically, long story short, is I got a new motherboard and a W Black SSD. So I, you know, completely wiped the PC, put all games on the SSD, all my editing on a smaller SSD so it was a lot more, you know, efficient. And of course, wiping everything also wipes all your presets, all your color grading. So I had to redo everything. I had to Google like how to get the best settings again because you know I had it all set up. I didn't ever touch it. I just clicked on 1080p short, 1080p long form, even though I did 4K long, long form. But you know I had all of it set. I had all my color grading for S Log 3, all my LUTs, everything was installed, and then I've just gone on it and yeah. Now this is all I've got. Literally, 
That's literally the only one I've got is S-Log3 and that was just made. I normally export all of them, save them on a USB and then when I reboot the whole PC I, you know, import it all. For some reason I didn't think of doing that so yeah I've just spent the last hour not really editing. Um, instead I've just been messing around with S-Log, colour grading, just so I know that all my videos are in the same consistency. I like this sort of like green effect if you've noticed. I like the kind of matrix look. I don't know why, but this greenier tint on the video just gives it more of a cinematic y feel to me. I don't know if that's because I know that Matrix did that. They added this green tint to give it more of that cinematic feel. And for some reason, I don't know, it just makes the colours look so much better on a lot of stuff. Obviously the colour's still there, like don't get me wrong, the the browns of the keyboard and like if I show you this here. So as you can see, like the browns of the keyboard are still in there. It's just got this little bit more of like a, a greenier tint to it. I kind of like it, I don't know. You have to let, let me know in the comments what you think of the green tint in the video, if you've noticed it anyway. Anyway, I need to get back to editing. Um, I've got literally, what is it, half 11, half 12. I've got to leave at one, so I've got about an hour and a half which is not enough time and then the kids will be back so when we come back to the video the kids will be here it'll be mayhem but you got to do what you got to do when you're a full-time content creator staying at home every day working you know kids are going to be kids and yeah it's, it's a lot harder to get your work done but you just got to power through but yeah I, I need to get back on with this so i'll see you at one o'clock well I'll see you about half one when the kids are back. All right, all right, little side missions just come up. So I was on Instagram just checking my messages and things and saw that Lo, if you don't know Lo, you need to get to know. He put up on his story about doing a collaboration with people on TikTok in the tech scene. So hopefully I've sent him an email, some of my work and some of the things that, you know, I hope companies that I've worked with. It'd be pretty cool to get a little part-time gig with someone that I'm inspired by and watch their content all the time. So, you know, it's little things like that. Just gotta put yourself out there. If I don't get picked, I don't get picked, but still, throw your body at everything that comes at you because this opportunity only comes once in a lifetime sort of thing and if you miss it right so the time is now 12 21 i've got a few edits done which is good so a little update for everyone if you don't know i own a bmw series one and that's now being called in for a recall i don't know if anyone else has had this but basically the egr valve i think it is uh, there's something to do with the coolant it's been kaput now i've had this recall for probably three years I, I called up and I said, hey, I need this booked in. You know, it's free of charge, you guys are doing it. And they were like, yeah, we've got no parts. We're gonna have to ring you back in May. This was like 2021, maybe? And then I got a phone call saying that they're booking me in for August the 13th, which is good because, you know, I can finally get it done, stop damaging my car. Uh, another thing is we've got Mel Geek. If you don't know what company that is, that's a keyboard company. They're bringing out their new line of magnetic switch keyboards, which is four elements, earth, air, fire, and wind. I've gone for air because I'm Aquarius. I thought it was water, always thought it was water because the Aquarius is holding the water. No, apparently it's air. The only reason they call it Aquarius is because every time the River Nile flooded, it was the month of Aquarius. I don't even know, but anyway. There you go, that's a cool little fact. The Drunk Deer A75 Pro, they're bringing out a new colorway, which is white and gold, absolute fire. They've also emailed me to say if I wanna do a collaboration on that, which of course, I'm gonna say yes. Uh, anything keyboard related, I'm gonna say yes, whether they pay or whether they don't, I don't care. Uh, if it adds to my keyboard collection, I'm gonna say yes, okay? A lot of the times people will say, don't take jobs that don't pay, or you know, don't just do it for the product. If you really want that product, don't, worry about payments and stuff that comes later on don't worry trust me i've done multiple brand deals without actually getting paid for doing it and i never realized that a lot of people were getting paid like 10 grand per tiktok i'm like sitting here going yeah 250 quid's good for me um so i need to up my prices but still at the same time i'm happy with the process that i'm going with the products that i'm getting are worth way more than i would be able to even pay for that's a, that's a bonus and then commission that I get from someone buying the product is even better. So, and I mean, full transparency here. I think last month I made around almost 3,000 pounds just from commission alone. Now that's TikTok shop. It's a Sketchboard Pro, the G Grip from Greg Williams. Them three were just killing it. And yeah, that's, that's like a good monthly wage for someone working a nine to five. And that's from three income streams, okay? Now imagine all of these products that I've got that are getting commission. Plus then obviously YouTube pay a little bit here and there depending on your views, 
Uh, TikTok, I don't really get paid by Creator Fund because they don't ever put my videos on the Creator Fund uh, anymore. So that's all down TikTok shop stuff. But three income streams, and I made the same as what someone would work full time out of their house, nine to five, maybe even have to work extra hours to earn up to three grand in a month. That's insane to me that I can do this from the comfort of my own home, be able to watch my family grow and still earn that monthly wage. Now there's people out there, don't get me wrong, that are making tens of thousands on TikTok shop alone. That's the goal, you know, just slow income, uh, keep it recurring because you don't want to, you know, have a massive blowout and then have no money left. I had that couple. We I had that a couple of years ago. YouTube paid out a massive twenty grand, or I think it was like twenty five grand even, to work with them. And then, you know, after all bills and all equipment that I wanted for my new adventure in videography and photography and stuff, that money went quick. So just be careful when you do get a big lump sum. Don't go spending it. You want a recurring sort of income. That's where commission comes in. That's where a lot of affiliate marketing or brand Brand deals that even if it does pay 250 and hey, it's still 250 that you wouldn't have got plus the keyboard or whatever product that you would have had to pay out for so either way you're still you're winning okay that's all I'm saying don't obviously agree to every single collaboration that comes along if they reach out to you you are in the right of mind to ask them for a fee uh, if you reach out to them it's a different story you're the one that's wanting their product so they can easily say we'll just give you the product we're not going to pay for it we didn't want you to actually collaborate but because you've reached out to us you know what i'm saying if they reach out to you and say hey we got this product, we want you to collaborate. You're, you're in like the, the top of the tower right now and you can be like, hey, okay, I want to collab, fair enough, but I want a fee of this much plus commission for each set. You, you get what I'm saying, blabbling on because I thought I'd give you a little life update of doing this from home and the actual expectations of what it takes to do something like this. Uh, it's not easy, don't get me wrong. There's been days where I sit here and go, do you know what, a nine to five seems easier. I would rather sit in an office and just do work that I've been told to do because doing this is a creative block when you get to the stage of right i've got these products i've made the videos but how can i get a better shot how can i make it look more interesting how can i actually sell this product even though creators aren't there to generate sales they are there to generate your marketing for then you to be able to push your marketing team and say right get the sales in it's not our job to get you sales but we help along that way and if we get sales then bonus i've actually had someone buy one of the camos c5 bundles from using my affiliate link and you know i can't be great i can't be more grateful for anyone that goes and does that because again it's supplying me with an income to continue doing this and obviously you get a nice cheeky discount which is always a bonus but it does really mean a lot more to the creators that you have used their code so i really do appreciate it so if you want to get anything there's links down in the bio that you can go and check out there's sponsorships for game subs there's viral tech there's loads of stuff um in you know, my Amazon store and things like that. Anything that you want to get, I appreciate uh, as it really does help. Yeah, I just wanted to be fully transparent and just sort of explain. You know, I don't get the YouTubers that are like, oh, I've just got a brand deal and they don't tell you how much it is. It's like, tell me. Or, they're, or the people that put on like threads and stuff. You know, I've got a video that's got 4 million views. Guess how much I made? It's like, don't be that person. Just be honest. And well, how much did you make? How much did you make? Like I watched Chevron and he is so transparent when it comes to like brand deals. He was like, oh, I made 40 grand from Acer or, you know, I do this. And then Lo made a video recently in his last vlog, uh, sort of just explaining a bit about the money, income and stuff. And he said he, he doesn't take anything less than $10,000 for one TikTok video. I'm out here doing 250 quid. I have 2.2 million. Yes, my views are very bad because I switched my content mid, like, like mid stream sort of thing. Real viral videos from Bubblehead, like 48 plus million views. And then I went, I'm going to tech and lifestyle. Everyone's like, Rah. so yeah, I understand my views are shite, but still it's a learning curve. You can always progress on another niche why even have niches why not just do whatever you want and if people watch it they watch it if they don't then you're gonna find a different audience that's all i'm saying but anyway i have about half an hour before i have to leave i don't get how people do this like day in the life uh, cinematically because i wouldn't have time to set up the camera and do all this like walking past stuff something as simple as making a cup of tea would go from being a five minute task to almost 20 minutes with setting up the camera getting the shot making sure the audio sounds like all the asmr I don't know how people do it. Or like when they're going to the shop, they put the camera like five yards away and then they'll be walking towards it. I'm like, are you not worried someone's gonna steal it? Like it's an expensive camera just sitting in the middle of the road. Or they'll put it down and drive off in the car. 
Like my mind, I can't, I can't do that. I would so, I'd drive two inches and go, no, and get out. Like I wouldn't, no, not for me. I've got to tidy up, we've got 30 minutes to get this place looking a bit more sharpish. So yeah, once we're all tidied up, we'll go get the kids, come back, have some food, do all that good stuff. And then I've got a few more things to unbox and record reviews for. Once they're asleep, I can do like the full reviews, the long length ones. Uh, the unboxings, because I don't really talk on them, I can do them while they're awake, because if they're making noise, mute the audio, whack a bit of music on, beautiful. And then tonight is the night we try Marvel Rivals, or Rival Marvels, I don't know which one it was, but still, I'm excited. Anyway, I'm going to tidy up, see you in a bit. Future me here, I'm an absolute idiot. Um, I thought it was Wednesday, it's not, it's Tuesday, and the Marvel Rivals playtest doesn't start till Wednesday, so... It won't be today that you watch me play this game. <laughs> I'm so excited as well. Ah, I've got to wait a whole other day. So yeah, tonight uh, it will just be work, 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 work. Really, all in all, that sums up my day. I can't really record anything else tonight because I'll be using this camera to record my full length reviews. So it's now 12.51. I'm going to go pick up the kids in 10 minutes. I'm going to come back and make food, get them sorted, and then I'm just going to sit here and work. Uh, so that is obviously the downfall of doing something like this from home is you work non-stop. Even when you are finished, you're still working. So, you know, I guess it makes sense that why a lot of people don't really do this sort of thing is because it is such a time consuming thing. You don't just get time off. Yeah, yeah, you can choose when you work and when you don't work, but then the more you don't work, the less you earn, and then obviously you get more backed up with all your products, and it's just that. Ah. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to might, well, might as well just end this video here. I've got nothing else really to show you today. Uh, it's a bit of a boring day, if you will. It's just constant recordings, editing, recording, edit. So, yeah, I'm going to leave it there. But if you enjoyed this kind of video, this kind of vlog, let me know in the comments below because I'd be happy to make more videos like this, a bit more lifestyle, a bit more in the, you know, personal. But I don't know how well this is going to do on YouTube, so... It is what it is. But anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Remember, capture, create, captivate. And I'll see you beautiful people in the next video.